What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Frostpunk. My name is Splattercat, checking out the demo of a game that I've been tremendously stoked about over the course of the last couple months. This is one of the big games that I've been looking forward to and it actually is a little bit different than I expected. But to be fair, they never really released any information on the game. They never really released- oh my god, everybody is sick. Like, there is like nobody who is not sick right now. Good lord. Ah, well. Our scouts are about to return in about two hours. They're going to have a new influx of... We're going to have immigrants, so that's good. That's going to help out a lot because we need workers for some of these buildings and we need to make stuff happen here, Cap'n. Uh, the other part of it is that I think we should build a road right here. And let's just say for a moment that we build a road out right there, right? Uh, that street is going to be built. They've already marked that and they're going to start putting down planks. If we can start grabbing some of this stuff over here, I think that's good. Whoever is left over, the big thing right now is that whoever is left over is going to be responsible for grabbing stuff off the ground. But for the moment, we don't really have anything for that. We're out of engineers. I assume that at least some portion of the people that are coming back in a couple of hours will be scientifically or mechanically minded. They won't just be like, you know, blue collar workers or whatever. Uh, we got sick people, we got four people in treatment. Man, this is not a good look for us right now. This is not a good look. We've got sick absences over here, which is bad. Uh, because we've got somebody who's staying at home, they're fed, they're healthy, they're sick. So one of our engineers is sick right now, which is not a good look for us. Not a good look at all. As soon as this road is done, what I'd like to do is we're going to put another steam hub out here. I don't have a choice, i got to keep people from getting sick. So 20 workers and 5 engineers, that's great. So we'll go, we'll max these buildings out so that food is coming in at a reasonable rate. There we go. So all of the extra workers will be assigned to places that need new workers. And then for right now, we've got 3 on 15 right here trying to finish that off. They'll finish that off when they finish that off. I'm not that concerned about it. We've also got steel out there. I don't think we have a whole lot more pallets, but wood, actually. Uh, surprisingly enough, wood seems to be our main problem. Uh, we need wood worse than we need just about anything else. And so I also think we're going to make a, we're gonna have to make a lumber mill. I don't think we're going to have a choice there. Uh, it looks like they produce 80 wood a day from the lumber mill. We'll assign some people over to here, but we have 34 homeless people at the moment. Uh, this steam geyser is up right here. That means that conceivably, we can more than likely make a few tents over here. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Uh, can I cancel that? I can. Goody. I was a little worried about not being able to cancel it, but we'll keep these people warm. That gives us 30 more. We'll only have four homeless. I think that's part of the problem with how many people that we have sick right now. And so you guys just get the buildings done. You know, make sure that we've got room for all these new people coming in. We also have a scout who is doing jack shit and nothing right now. And so I can take him to a storm shelter. The Union Jack is flying over it, but we don't see smoke or movement. We've got a broken tower on that side, and we've got a crash site. Send him to the crash site, please. We'll send our scouts to the crash site, and that'll be good enough. As we start to get through these resources right here, I'll probably make a second scout too. Because we don't have a lot of steel, and we don't have a lot of anything left right now. Uh, we basically have no resources at the moment. We've got 80 wood left until we have ourselves a major issue. And then from there, I don't know where we're going to pick up wood from. We're going to have to get it from somewhere, but where that place is, I don't know. I just don't know. I, I actually, I think we've kind of backed ourselves into a corner right now. I had to spend my resources to house people so that they weren't getting quit sick quite so rapidly. But to get us, I guess the lumber mill is what we want to focus on. If we can get the lumber mill done today, we'll probably be alright. We just gotta get better at harvesting wood, man. We're just not good at this wood life. We've got 22 hours worth of coal left. There's only a little bit of coal right there. Max out workers right there. Send everyone you can to go get coal for the day. A uh, work time is up. A coal pile has been depleted. So we've got faster resource gathering now. Faster resource gathering. Send out all the extra people to there as well because I'm a little bit worried about our coal supply. We have people working on stuff and we're trying to get it done, but it's going to kind of depend. It's going to depend a little bit. Not going to have much of a choice here. With our technology done, my suggestion is that we do the sawmill next. So we'll start the sawmill. I don't know how long that's going to take, but we've got trees over here. I will more than likely start a road out this way to get to these trees. And as we do that, what kind of laws can I enact right now? 
kind of laws can I enact? So we get double, we got the care house down here. No, I don't think that I care for right now. We can also do, people can be attending ceremonies to raise hope with every burial. Signing increases your hope. Sure. Uh, we'll do, that seems like a reasonably risk-free thing to add on. Uh, remembering your dead is an important part, actually. That was one of the most touching things. I, I took anthropology classes as a part of my geology learning, uh, because geology, as a, as a sub-study, um, paleontology and archaeology, paleontology mostly, archaeology is not really our purview, but anyways, you're expected to have a bare minimum knowledge of, 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 um, you're supposed to have a bare minimum knowledge of, like, archaeology and anthropology if you're going to be a geologist. And I remember one of the most heartwarming things, one of the most beautiful things I ever saw in that class, one of the things that really... I'm not going to say it brought a tear to my eye, but it was definitely one of those things where we found primitive versions of human, uh, of humans, like Neanderthals, um, Australopithecus, and stuff like that. Going back, we found examples that even very primitive versions of humans, they used to bury their dead, and they used to put flowers and random objects inside the graves and this is before we had like developed intelligence i'm not just talking about neanderthals who are basically like a previous version of us neanderthalensis or whatever uh, i'm talking about like what we would consider to be apes almost in terms of their physiology and intelligence they respected their dead when their dead died they buried them and they put small trinkets and they put flowers and things inside of the grave and i remember thinking how tremendously beautiful that is just that they cared even though they're primitive they understood and they cared and that's just like I don't know respect for the dead is a powerful thing and it's a communal thing as well a society that shows no respect for their dead is a society that more than likely will not have any respect for their living either captain a few people are concerned about the number of sick their demands are just but I can't really do anything about this I there's nothing that I can do about that we don't have the resources at the moment we just we don't have it we don't have it. I, I wish that we did, but we don't. <laughs> so I. this is one of those situations where we're up against a wall right now, and there's not a lot I can do about it. There really sincerely isn't. Can I cancel out? So let's give ourselves better rations this time around. Now that we're ahead of the food curve, I'm going to upgrade the rations so that the rations are a little bit better. These guys probably won't get back right now, but they'll get back at some point. It looks like it's almost 8 o'clock. It's almost nighttime again. Uh, food is being picked off for right now. They're working their way through the sick and the ill and the dying as much as possible. We only have 24 hours worth of fuel left. We've got another death right there too, so that's unfortunate. But we're going to have to live with it. We are going to have to live with it. There's not much that I can do aside from that. Um, as far as these go, these are very expensive. Like, these are incredibly expensive. I... God, I don't know what to do with these right now. I really don't. Um, we're going to have to turn that one off for sure. There's not much that I can do about that. There really sincerely isn't. Uh, the building insulation is pretty good. It's chilly, but they'll be all right. Uh, we got to focus on doing what we can. We only have a couple people who are unemployed right now, but deaths are, deaths are lining up. We have somebody that's waiting. He's got a scouted location right now. Uh, that's 60 food and 180 wood. Go ahead and search the area. And so searching the wrecks of our expedition, we find the body of a young woman cradling pitiful remains of a little boy. Was he wounded or killed in the crash? Did she choose to stay with him or was she left behind in the chaos? I will never know. But from a nearby hill, we can see a dome building in the distance. It might be the observatory set up in the Arctic by the Royal Society years ago. And so let's take the food and the 130 wood and we'll bring him on back home. It says he's waiting. Um, can I reassign him? It's going to take him a day to get back over here. Did he get the resources? I'm a little concerned about the resources, but I'm going to send him back to the city. And so uh, hopefully... Yeah, it looks like he's got some of the stuff that we needed right here. Let me get some workers back. I don't think we're going to have a lot of choice right there. And then if I can, the maximum... Ah, one... So we can only have one from this beacon. That's unfortunate. I was hoping we could have a second person. Uh, it seems like we do get very good resources from sending people out on these expeditions. And that wood is going to be really helpful. Like crazy helpful. It's going to be super helpful. I don't have a lot else to say. 
Don't have a lot else to say. We are kind of riding the line right now as far as our steam geysers and everything else goes. Uh, the temperature is falling again. That's not a good thing. That's a bad thing. I'm going to send out a couple people over to there. They're not going to produce much coal, but I can't, I can't really affect that for right now. At the moment, I'm feeling a little bit helpless about this whole thing. I, I'm getting the feeling that perhaps I am a poor leader. I may not be the best leader for this place, but I suppose that that is the... That's the curse of command. You know, I think that might be what makes people good leaders, is that they think they're not good enough, maybe. And they think they're doing a bad job, but they're still going to try. It's going to cost us ten in the sawmill. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put it there because I don't really have a choice. And so we'll put it right there. Uh, he's going to be back in about six hours. That's going to increase our wood supply a little bit. And we'll decide what we want to do with the scout very shortly. Uh, before we send him on out. Uh, this place is currently functioning. This place... Let's go ahead and we'll cut its usage as well, just to make sure that... Just to make sure... I wish, actually, you could cut these to where they only worked at nighttime when people are at home. That would make me feel a lot better, but we got a lot of sick people right now. We have a very real quantity of sick people. Let's go over here, and do we have... What can we do? We've got boilers. Use boilers to heat workplaces during working hours. Each boiler will raise the workplace temperature by two levels. It consumes a coal an hour. That's a lot, though. That's like a lot of a lot. We can afford to go to the second layer, so let's start that off. Oh, we're about to have an influx of wood anyways, and I need to get to the, the second radius of heat is the next big thing that I'm going to focus on. We've got a little bit of steel. We've got some building going on right there. I mean, the sheer amount of things going wrong right now is unfortunate, but it can't be helped. With the amount of food that we have, a crowd is worried about the temperature in their homes. Uh, I have to heat some homes. I'm not one for hash me half measures. Let's solve this problem. If I can get out to the second... Scouts number one have returned with food and cargo. Very nice. I'm going to unassign these workers for right now. And I am going to put as many as I can on the steel out here. And we'll just do the best we can for the moment. We have 193 wood, which is great. He's also waiting. We should probably send him out on another expedition. We've got a broken tower and an observatory. Let's send him out to the storm shelter, I guess. There we go. So we'll send him out to the storm shelter and we'll see how that helps us out. Uh, right now, we're just trying to make a beeline at the moment for heating technology. There's not a whole lot I can do other than that. And so from uh, raise that to 24 hours, raise that to 24 hours. I have to do what I have to do in order to make sure people are warm and they're taken care of. We did just get an influx of workers, so you know what? We're going to try our best here. We're going to try our best. It's chilly. I am going to assign this to overdrive. And uh, aside from that, I don't really know what to do. I don't really know what to do. Let's take 15 people off the steel over here. Let's assign 10 workers. We've got people running out doing everything they can to grab as much coal as possible from these two locations. But my assumption is that we're going to need a mine before too long. And we're definitely going to need the thumpers. Uh, we've got enough to last us a few more days. But how far that's going to go kind of remains to be seen. So we'll wait. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see this damnable temperature, dude. This temperature is bad. This temperature is absolute shit, and it's killing us. It's killing us badly. I'm going to turn off overdrive real fast now that we did the quest and we got our discontent taken care of. People are going to be salty about it, but there's not going to really be a whole lot that I can do to stay on top of that. Another day, another shift, indeed. Unleash the fart of work. The fart of work shall urge us forward and make us strong. All hail the fart of work. Bar Second workshop will probably help. Uh, steel wreckage has been depleted over there. Both steel wreckages have been depleted. So let's go ahead and assign who we have to go after that steel on that side. This is producing 7.2 wood an hour. It's unfortunate that we can't substitute. Those coal veins should last for a little while. Our usage is pretty ugly right now, though. No lie, our usage is pretty bad. Uh, upgrade 1 has been researched. 
We can go with heating zone and raise that. We can go up another setting. Uh, generator is twice as much coal. We can also go with generator range. Uh, range setting to extend its heat zone by 20%. I... God, we're already hurting so badly, though. We're already hurting so badly for heat, but I suppose in getting that right there, that means I can turn off these these hubs right here. I can turn them off. Yeah, I can just switch them off after we have what we need. And so that's what I'm going to hope for for right now. That's about the best that I can do. Uh, it'll use double the amount of coal, but hopefully we can take the edge off by... Hopefully we can take the edge off. I don't know. I just don't know. As far as health goes, I can go with another medical post over here. Uh, I'll probably put a medical post right there. And once we have the medical post, what I'll do is I'll take some of the engineers off coal gathering. Because I think some of them... Where are my engineers at? There we go. We'll take the five of them off of there and we'll just assign them over to this side because basically everybody's sick at this point. I don't know what to change. I don't know what to help with. Alternative food sources. Uh, that means we eat humans. Good lord. No, we're not going to do that. We can double the rations for the ill to hasten recovery. Go ahead and do it. We've got a food surplus right now. And I'm okay with this. We have too many people who are sick. Let's go ahead and try and help out the sick for right now. Uh, the sick and the dying are our, primal con are our pivotal concern right now. Oh, is that the end of the demo? Did it get us? Wow, that was a lot of fun, man. I really like this game. Ten days have passed and you're still unsure of the fate of other cities. I liked it. I liked it, man. I can't wait for this game to come out. This is Frostpunk, the third episode. I appreciate you guys stopping on in and hanging out with me while we do a series on the demo that they sent out to give people a little look at the game. I am super stoked about this game. I can't wait for the final release, and so I hope that you're excited as well. I will see you all next time. Hi to everybody. If you like what I do, my name is Splattercat, and I make videos about indie games every single day so that you can be aware of what is on the horizon. Uh, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know whenever I do my stuff. Also, check out Twitch TV slash Splattercat Gaming, where I stream every single day at 3 p.m. Uh, normally stuff that's been on the channel. Normally stuff that's been on the channel. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. I do, and I will carry on the next time Steam... I mean, when it comes out with the next release, you know I'll be there because this was a badass game. See you all later. Hi do, everybody.